Hi and welcome. Today I want to talk a little bit about the arrival price and specifically the arrival price algorithm from Interactive Brokers because I found that it has some very interesting properties and I did quite a bit of exploration on trading arrival price algos with IB and I want to give you an idea of my findings. So what is a rival price? Well, uh, Interactive Brokers defines it as an algorithmic order type that will attempt to achieve over the course of the order the bid ask midpoint at the time the order is submitted. So when we submit an order, we basically um, have a quite large order size, so we often move the market. Or if we want to submit it and then um, and then just trade at market, then obviously we lose a little bit of money uh, by crossing the spread and you know that can negatively impact our trading so the arrival price can be quite attractive uh, to actually help us achieve a better uh, mid price for this and so what I have done is I have built uh, some uh, automated algo system which then just submits orders in the market trades them and I have always the same order size in the same settings and then I have a look uh, what the arrival price algo from IB has actually been doing. So when you look at IB's arrival price you can see there's a few settings here so you can set a maximum percentage of the average daily volume so if you have really large orders you wanna um, somehow set that to, to your specific needs then there's this type of risk aversion setting and it's got several settings, get done, aggressive, neutral, and passive. So get done is like the most aggressive one and passive is the least aggressive one. And what that means is that when the arrival price comes in, an aggressive algo is just trying to get filled much quicker uh, than a more passive. Then it's got a start time and an end time or a, a you know, a time in force. So basically you can just tell it, okay, um, you know, I want the order to be executed in five minutes, uh, 20 minutes, over the whole day and so on. And um, there's also one here where it says force completion. So when the order is basically not being filled right at the end of the uh, running of the algorithm, then it just tries to force it. And because I want to get filled at exactly the right position size most of the time. This is how I generally like to trade. Uh, I set this uh, usually to one, to true, so I force my completion. Um, the algorithm that I'm running and that I'm showing you today uh, takes five minutes to get filled. Quite often what I would like is to get somehow filled around the time of the close price and then um, maybe five minutes before and then see if I can actually achieve a better price than just uh, the market price. And uh, risk aversion is that I like the uh, aggressive setting and I've done quite a bit of exploration and found that this is actually a fairly uh, useful uh, setting for my purposes. So that's what I'm running here. And um, just just uh, so you understand a little bit more about the rival price before I dive into the results, let me uh, take you to this book here. And this is a book by uh, Jian, and it's called uh, The Financial Mathematics of Market Liquidity. And it talks about rival price algorithms. And in this uh, uh, chart here, we see how this rival price algorithm works. And basically, you've got a uh, position size, let's say, of uh, 200 or whatever, 200,000 uh, positions and it's Q. And then you submit uh, some of them into the market and then your arrival price algorithm determines the curve of the optimal execution so that you can achieve the best possible price given the market liquidity, given the bid ask spread, given the volatility. So um, the mathematics behind it is fairly complex. If anyone's interested, have a look at the book. Uh, you can see here, this is the actual equation uh, for this. So this is the uh, quantity change over time. And um, that's actually a closed form solution. Now, 
a lot of the time uh, you can actually uh, do this uh, with a more iterative process and get a bit more accuracy in this but luckily uh, you don't have to do that necessarily yourself and algorithms such as the IB arrival price algorithm takes care of that so if you uh, are a little bit too heavy or is it a bit too heavy on the mathematics uh, you obviously go to your broker and hopefully you use this now um, this formula is based on a closed form solution by a model uh, by Almgren, Almgren and Chris and so this is quite a famous uh, model for arrival price and people use it quite extensively in the markets uh, to get this done so what you can see here is three different curves and this curve here the one you can see that's actually the most aggressive setting effectively and then as you go further then here you have a less aggressive setting and then here you have even less aggressive setting which also means you have a higher uh, risk aversion or you have a changing risk aversion so you go for more aggressive to less aggressive so the curve uh, of your trade actually flattens so let's say you start out with uh, 200,000 uh, positions and then over time um, you basically get filled and so what your algorithm does is effectively if you are on that curve it just to, tries to get filled passively but if for example uh, you have your you're somewhere here so so you have say you're at time 0 0.5 and you haven't actually been uh, filled as much as the curve would suggest you should then your algorithm will become more aggressive and will actually execute orders closer to the market price uh, and if you're more uh, below the curve then uh, your algorithm will actually just be a lot more passive and then just try to get them filled uh, by quoting okay so that's effectively how a rival price works in a in a very very simple nutshell explanation so let's have a look at the results because they're quite interesting and um, what I've done is I've ran as I said an algorithm and you can see here I've actually ran a lot of different um, trades uh, on the arrival price so what you see here is the price curve over the execution of the order and then these points here are the points where my order got filled so here we've got a buy and you can see that that we started um, at this uh, initial price which you can see here that's that's the uh, ask uh, right at the beginning when the order was submitted and then you can see that the price went down and then back up again but overall our actual average price you can see this here average price was in fact uh, better than the initial price or our fill price was better than the initial price by quite a big margin so that was really quite interesting and we gained a bit and then you see second trade the same and you can see with the green in between those two lines means we're actually make we're actually getting better than uh, the market price so in this case here we have a sell because the price went down we ended up uh, with our average price or with our fill price actually being a bit lower than the uh, initial price so we're not really uh, we actually lost a little bit of money uh, to the overall market price and what you can see here on the right is the filling profile and so when you look at all these fills you can already see it looks a little bit like what we've seen or what I showed you from before from the theoretical models in the book and what happens is quite often you see this uh, following the curve but then at the end if it can't get filled really well you see these big drops where uh, basically your order tries to just hit the market and gets everything done because it tries to really fill the full order uh, and so you've got sometimes this nice behavior then right at the end it's just this big drop and so you see all these curves and they look nothing quite like um, at the Almgren Chris model that I've shown you so you know you might think well this this isn't quite uh, 
right and so if I scroll down uh, quite a bit more you can see there's there's winners there's losers where we get a bit better and a bit worse and so as I scroll down let me do this we can see I have done all together 125 uh, trades and the average gain of these trades was a zero point uh, zero one point four so 1.4 cents this by the way uh, trades IBM I just used IBM as a proxy um, you can obviously apply this to any other stock what I found was that for the less liquid stocks we can actually often have better gains uh, than for the more liquid stocks and then this is an interesting uh, result as well I haven't got that right here to show you but if you have less liquid stocks quite often when when you then uh, use the arrival price algorithm you're really making some good gains now how does this perform how does IBM uh, perform in this so here I've got I've done some uh, statistics on these 125 trades and you can see um, this is the distribution of, of how good we or how well we ended up uh, with regards to the market price and you can see there's a significant amount of trades that are actually where we lose a little bit with respect to the market price but there's also quite a few where we gain and overall we actually gain about 1.3 cents as I said and the average spread in the market is uh, 2.83 cents so we're not quite there at the midpoint but we're actually pretty close overall which is interesting uh, secondly this is the execution time um, so I set the execution time to 300 seconds max and what we found is in this case IBM uh, that the execution time is significantly faster it's only a hundred uh, four seconds on average now this is not always true specifically for the less liquid uh, stocks when I tested them I found that the execution time often uh, is much more in the range of um, 260 or so seconds uh, if, if I put a 300 second limit to it so this is actually comparatively really fast uh, when we look at the execution times now this here is very interesting as well I've actually plotted all the uh, volume curves for all the trades the 125 trades and then took an average uh, remaining volume so I just took the average of all these trades and what we can see is interestingly that this curve does follow to some extent um, what we've seen in the Alan Green Chris model even though the actual spread of, of the, the volume curves is extremely wide and it doesn't look anything like it now what I was quite interested in is then to see well how does this match up uh, with the simple Alan Green Chris model now I don't necessarily expect that the uh, IB arrival price exactly uses the Alan Green Chris model it probably uses something a little bit different um, and obviously I don't know like this is not disclosed by IB exactly what it does but nevertheless it's still interesting to see how this works and so what I've done was I've fitted uh, the execution curve here from the live trading which you can see here with the blue dots to the Elm Chris model and you can actually see it's not a perfect fit but it's surprisingly close I think um, um, uh, the reason why this is almost an S-shaped curve here is that um, the uh, setting in my in my algorithm uh, really forces uh, the arrival price algo in IB to get filled at the end so, so to really forces it to fully fill and I think that skews uh, this uh, curve a little bit but overall it's actually looking really quite good and so we can see that that you know fitting this uh, we, we really we really do have the behavior that we would expect uh, from an arrival price algorithm now what does it tell us um, so if we have large trades or we have 
perhaps even smaller trades as a as a retail trader and we want to get filled at a better price than um, what is currently available in the market we can really go ahead and use uh, the arrival price algorithm for that even for smaller orders uh, it's not actually such a bad idea and um, you can see when when the orders execute and when you look at the live thing it, it really does its work it really looks and tries to understand the market and does these things and as you can see overall we can really build um, or we can really build something that really improves uh, our our market prices and when you think about it uh, in improvement of 1.3 cents that's not actually uh, too bad in many ways that that's perhaps uh, a few basis points uh, on on some of the stocks um, and you know it, it's effectively mid price and so I really highly recommend uh, for you checking out this algo it's a little bit uh, more complex to implement it if you do automated trading you can also run it by hand you can set it up in in manually in the uh, TWS Trader Workstation. I do it algorithmically and, and it is a little bit more involved uh, to build the uh, orders for that. But overall, uh, it's quite manageable if you understand uh, Python a little bit and computers. So really, that's uh, what I have to say today. If you uh, really want to get your orders done at a better price, check out the arrival price algorithm. I think uh, you will really like it and I hope to see you in the next video.